With as crazy as the real estate market is right now across the country, and there are a lot of things that are gonna be happening in 2021. Some people are speculating crashes and some people are not speculating crashes. They're talking about forbearance. It's all over the map and it's just crazy. And I have clients all the time asking me where I think the market's gonna go. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly what I'm seeing in the market here locally, and it's gonna give you the information you need to make on whether to buy or sell right now in this hot market, and we're getting after it right now. I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate agent here in beautiful Kitsap County, Washington. Now, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Now, I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, text every single day of people looking to relocate here, and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating, make sure you reach out to me. You can give me a call, you can shoot me a text, you can send me an email, or you can even send the Seahawk. However you wanna get a hold of me, I definitely have your back on moving to Western Washington. Now look, I've done a ton of videos on our local market in the past, but now that we're over a month into the new year, I wanna talk about what I'm seeing in our current market. So we're gonna be taking a look at the 2021 outlook for Kitsap County and the surrounding area and what to expect. And with the increase in the multiple offers on just about every home on our market, well, that's a pretty good indication of where our market is heading in 2021. Now look, a lot of people are speculating that forbearance issues are gonna crash the market. Well, I think there are some massive problems with forbearance that will in fact impact our markets, but it's not gonna be this huge foreclosure boom everyone's anticipating, especially in the Kitsap County market and the Western Washington market as a whole. But there is a side effect that will impact us, and we're gonna talk about that. So in order to talk about 2021 and project 2021, we need to talk about what happened in 2020 real brief. We had very low builder inventory, very low inventory throughout all of Kitsap County and most of Western Washington, and low interest rates were causing this. And then people were leaving their state. Plus we had Amazon come in and build their new warehouse here, and the new fast ferry system came into our area in the last few years as well. So investors are seeing the opportunity and are going crazy and flooding our market and driving up prices and driving up, you know, really kind of this insanity. And to top all that off in December, which is generally the slow time of year, Kitsap County saw a 15% year over year increase in prices. Pierce County saw an almost 14% increase in prices. These are massive price increase across the board. So if you were anticipating 2021 to be the time that everything, you know, everything crashes and you can get a good deal in 2021, I think you might be pretty far off. Yeah, I do think there'll be some issues with forbearance, which no one's talking about. And so I do think we might see some more inventory for that, but I don't think it's enough to not see another big price increase. You know, I hate to scare people, but I mean, the reality is, is there's really no relief in sight with interest rates staying this low and the amount of people moving here. Prices are just going to continue to keep moving upwards. So what are my concerns with affordability in 2021 and why might that impact the markets? Well, the reality is, is that 350,000 and under price range is a feeding frenzy for investors. That price range is just a sweet spot for investors. And on top of that, anyone that can afford that under $350,000 price range is coming in like a Black Friday sale. That's why we're seeing homes getting five, 10, 15 plus offers, which is bizarro land. And on top of that, buyers are not having to be forced out of Kitsap County. I've gotten so many people asking more questions about Gig Harbor, which is south of us, Belfair, which is west of us, Lake Bay, the Shelton area, everyone's being forced out. So I think affordability is gonna be a major issue in the Kitsap County and surrounding area. And here's the second part of the affordability is the property taxes. So with the home values increasing so drastically, the property taxes are increasing as well. But here's the second part of the taxes and that's actually forbearance. And this is what no one's talking about. See, a lot of people escrow their taxes and some mortgage companies do not give the option to continue to pay your property taxes while in forbearance. They just tell the homeowner they don't have to pay anything while they're in forbearance. So they actually extended the forbearance out. And now with the new provisions under the CARE Act, they're actually pushing that out another 12 months. So that's why there are a lot of people that thought there was gonna be this huge foreclosure boom in 2021 is because they thought that forbearance was going to end and that people would start running to foreclosure. But that's not gonna happen because forbearance is being extended out another year. But the problem is, is that taxes are not being collected by these mortgage holders, which means in October when homeowners taxes need to be paid, well, those taxes aren't gonna be paid. 
But luckily under the CARES Act and provisions and the, and the things that were written in the last bills, 500 billion was set aside for tax districts that were gonna need help. But there was really no provisions under the CARE Act that actually provided relief for taxes for homeowners. So we're gonna see a lot of homeowners potentially with a lot of tax delinquencies going into 2021, which could potentially have them going into either foreclosure or have to sell their home quickly. So that could see more inventory. But again, I'm talking about how many people are moving here. I don't think that's really going to affect things too much, but if you do, you know, if you do have homeowners that are going to be tax delinquent and getting more taxes on top of that because of property taxes increasing, people are really going to consider selling their homes. The fifth flip side is, is five, 10, 15 plus offers on a home. So that's a lot of inventory that's going to get purchased. So this is why I'm saying that there's not going to be a massive turn in our markets, basically because so many people are moving here from all over. Now with all that chaos, one question that I'm getting from a lot of potential buyers is that, hey, I'm gonna wait a whole nother year in order to make a purchase. Because maybe in 2022, all those issues line up and the prices go down in 2022, which I think might happen. 2020, 2022 might actually be a great, you know, great year to buy a home. But here's the caveat to that. If prices do increase another 10 to 15% this year, you're gonna be paying on, on a $350,000 home over $52,000 more next year to buy it. Well, if prices do come down, are they really gonna come down another you know, 20, 30%? That's what we don't know. So while prices might be flattened and they may not be, you know, may not be as many buyers in 2022 market, keep in mind that more businesses are potentially moving here. So while we might see some instability in 2022, you know, it might be, it might still be worth it to buy a home in 2021. Now I don't have the big crystal ball. The reality is a 2022, you most likely are not still gonna have to pay more for that $350,000 home than you did this year. And on top of that, you're gonna be much, have a much smaller home and be farther out. Now, are we gonna see a major crash in 2021? Probably not. Are we gonna see a major crash in 2022? Probably not. I wanna hear questions and concerns in the comments below. I do like to answer, answer really good questions. And if you wanna move here and take advantage of the low interest rates and do it before the prices increase yet again, I can help you with that. Now, as I've shared before, I have helped dozens of families move here. I have the process dialed in and I can help you with your transition. But in order for me to do that, you gotta give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you wanna get a hold of me. I can definitely help you on moving to Western Washington. And until that next video, I'll catch you later.